Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be talking about running multiple looking glass clients to display multiple virtual machines. In this video, I assume you'll be building upon my looking glass guide that I posted earlier this month, but if you are not, most of these concepts still apply. To run multiple virtual machines concurrently, you will need multiple graphics cards. One for each virtual machine and one for the host. Optionally, if you have a Quadro RTX 6000 or 8000 or something else that supports SRIOV, you could just run a single GPU and multiple instances powered by that one GPU, but that's probably very few people. So you do need one graphics card per virtual machine. So to begin with, every looking glass instance has to receive the data from the virtual machine for what to display. And that data is generally shared through a file. And that file has to be created a different one for each virtual machine. So if you are using my earlier guides, we would need to open nano user slash bin slash lgstart.sh. The looking glass file gets created for each virtual machine. So this is for the first one and this is for the second one and you can name them anything. So all you have to do is copy what you see there, paste it and name it whatever you want it to be. Looking glass dash game or whatever. And then it has to be changed for every single instance to be the same. You need to do that and you need to remember what you named it. In this case, I named it looking glass dash two. And in this one, I named it looking glass dash game. So you can name it whatever. Okay, then you save it. You would reboot your machine for this to actually take place. I'll just exit out of it. Next. Another thing you need to do, you need to edit Versh. So we have uh, the looking glass installation guide right here. And this is what you normally add to Versh. In this instance, looking glass becomes looking glass dash game. So what you would do. Okay, I, this virtual machine is already running. So but that's fine. I'll, I just want to demonstrate what you would have to do. So this one, you would paste it, for example, at the very end and name it looking glass dash game or in the other instance, looking glass dash dash two, whatever you named it. That's what you have to keep here, that name. And then obviously if you want to use more than uh, 1080, you would need to change that accordingly and just follow the looking glass manual. And it's all described here. Okay. So now that we have that, obviously we would have to save this. Next, you would need to open virtual machine manager, open one of the virtual machines. And another thing you have to do is same as uh, for running a single one, you need the video none, you need your display spice. But if you are running multiple virtual machines at the same time, the port cannot be the same for every single virtual machine. So if one of them is on port uh, 5900, the other one would have to be on port something else. So in this case, 5901 to whatever. You just decide what do you want to use and stick to it. In my case, these two virtual machines, let's take a look at that, what, what they are running as. So currently running virtual machine, one is running on port 5902 and one is running on port 5900. So they cannot overlap. That's all. Next, that's almost it. Last thing you have to do is if you, you are not using the default file, you have to specify that and you have to specify the port if you are not using the default port. 
So this is what you would need. So you would start the looking glass client as usual, dash F to specify the file. In my case, I was using looking glass dash two and specify the port. If you wanted to use the one we created, you would just say dash game. Well, we almost created it, but uh, so you just specify the file here and the port. The dash A just uh, makes it auto size. And if you don't remember, or you just want to see more options, dash H lists all of them right here. Lowercase f is the path to the shared memory file. So don't confuse it with dash capital F, which just starts it in full screen. Now, if I start it, and if I wanted to start the other one, all you'd have to do, and if you are using the default uh, shared memory file, again, you don't have to specify it, you can just leave this blank and just start it. That's if you are using the default settings. So if you are not using the default settings, you would just specify what those are. And these are the default settings, but same thing will happen if you specify them. So it's a fairly easy process. You just have to basically tell uh, Looking Glass where everything is located. You have to create a separate uh, shared memory file and uh, use the port that needs to be used. So what you could do if you don't want to, or you don't remember what you will do each time, you can simply save your settings or copy your settings. And copy that. You can even specify the exact location if you wanted to save it make it executable, chmod plus x gaming vm dot sh. And then just run it and you don't have to remember the exact settings. So this was just a quick overview of what you need to do to display the output from multiple virtual machines at the same time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.